Now we have the great pleasure to talk to Matu Kamek from a very interesting Indian distillery, Indri. Uh, Matu, can you tell us something about the distillery, where it is, uh, when was it founded? Sure. Um, good day, and it's uh, happy to be at the Nuremberg Whiskey Festival and to catch up with the Whiskey Expert team over here. Um, this distillery is called Les Piccadilly. And uh, this distillery was set up in the year 2012 when it actually became functioning. Um, the distillery is located in the northern part of India. Uh, from Delhi towards uh, Punjab, when you travel on the Grand Trunk Road, uh, which has been an exchange route for thousands of years, um, the distillery is located a few miles off the Grand Trunk Road. Um, uh, um, 2012 was when we started distilling, 2010 was it, it was set up, but the group, the Piccadilly group uh, has been there for quite a long time and uh, this name for the brand Indri uh, is named after the village where the distillery is located. Uh, it also means uh, five senses in Sanskrit which is the Indian language. So, and what's your capacity? How much whiskey do you produce? Um, we, we are happy to say that we are the largest independent uh, malt manufacturers in India. Uh, we can produce up to 12,000 liters every day. And annually, if you run to a full capacity, we can bottle up to 1.4 million liters. And your main market is still the Indian market, but you export them? Uh, yes, please. So today, it's, it, our brand is about 15 months old. Indri is about 15 months old. If I take the sales of the last year, 70% of our sales is from India and 30% is from exports. Uh, primarily, we are opening up markets. Uh, we are present in almost 14 countries now. And uh, your master distiller is a legend in India, is it? Yes, yes. Um, we are happy to say that our master distiller is Mr. Surendra Kumar. And um, he, um, after spending quite a long time with Amrit Distilleries, uh, was happy to go out and, you know, relax. But we never let him relax and we pulled him and said, how can you just retire like that? And uh, Mr. Surendra is actually a part of our distillery now and he's doing the blending work for us. Apart from the very interesting standard range you have, distillery, you brought a single cask for Germany. And can you tell us something about them? So, uh, about a year back, we had our uh, first expression, which was Trini, uh, which was launched in Germany. Uh, since then, our Gem German importers over here, Priniers, have been um, very keen on bringing some single cask for German market. Um, now, we, we chose uh, from about 10 single casks. The German distributors have handpicked four single casks, out of which two are seven year old bourbon casks one seven-year-old wine cask and one five-year-old bourbon cask. So these are the four single casks that were exclusively picked and probably Germany is the first market to have bottlings are for our single cask uh, that's going to be released ever. And when you talk about five and seven years, we have to stress that uh, maturation in India is much faster than here. You're absolutely right. Uh, the temperature in our distillery ranges from 50 degrees in the summer uh, to zero degrees in the winter and the wood goes through a lot of expansion and contraction and the angel share or the evaporation loss is 12 percent every year for the first few years so it's it's crazy so thank you for bringing this to german and thank you for talking to us it was a pleasure Matu, have a great time here in, in Nuremberg and see you again soon. Thank you so much uh, for having me as a part of you and uh, look forward to bringing in more nice expressions to Germany and uh, meeting you again. Thank you so much.